In this lesson, we'll go over right triangle proportions. Uh, here we have a large right triangle. And we have a, a line that's drawn from this vertex down to form right angles. And what happened is we actually formed a small right triangle here and a medium sized right triangle right here. So we have three right triangles. These three right triangles are actually all similar. So we have three similar right triangles. So that means they're actually in proportion to each other. So there are a number of proportions we could set up based on the fact that we have three similar right triangles. There are three proportions that you should memorize, um, which will help you find the sides of these triangles very quickly. I'm going to give letters to uh, each of these sides, okay? So we'll call the measure of this side A, the measure of this side B, and the measure of the long side C. Just like we would in a regular right triangle, we have the leg is A, leg is B, and the hypotenuse is C of this large right triangle. We'll call this uh, measurement H, because this is the height of this large right triangle. And we'll just call this length X. So this is a, a leg of this small right triangle. And we'll call this measurement Y, which is a leg of this medium sized right triangle. So one of the proportions we should know is that this measurement X over A equals A over this whole length C. You're going to see in this proportion, well in these three proportions we set up, that we're going to kind of double tap. So we got X over A equals A, so that's our double tap. We did A twice in a row over C x over a equals a over c. That's one of our proportions. So just like we have here, this small side over a equals a over the long side, you do the same with this measurement y. So y over this uh, side above it, b equals the side above it, b, over this whole thing C. So again we'll do our double tap. We have Y over B. Double tap equals B over the whole thing C. Again Y over the side above it B equals B. Double tapping B over C. That's our second proportion. Our third proportion involves the height. We have x over h equals h over y. So we have x over h equals h double tapped over y. x over h, h over y. x over h, h over y. That's our third proportion. So a good strategy when you have uh, a diagram like this is to label the sides and write down these proportions. This way if, if you're searching for one of these sides and you have uh, measurements, you could quickly determine which one of these three proportions you're going to use. 
Also note that since these are right triangles, if we're missing one of the sides, we could use Pythagorean theorem to find the other side. So if we didn't have a and we had x and h, we could just use Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus h squared equals a squared. Same thing with this triangle, we could find one of the missing measures if we're given h and b, maybe we have h and y, or b and y, we could find any of the measures of this triangle. And likewise with the large triangle, if we had a, b, or c, if we had any of those two, we could find the missing one. And then maybe we could use the proportion. So just remember double tap x over a equals a over c, y over b equals b over c, x over h equals h over y.